All right, good morning, everybody. Okay, it is 7.30, we'll go ahead and call the meeting to order, Amanda. Mr. Gertz? Here. Mr. Kyle Miller? Here. Mr. Steve Miller? Mr. Mullet? Here. And Mrs. Clink? Here. Well, as always, we'll operate under consent agenda. Um, we're glad to have Mr. Alsup here. And I can see um, Coach is on and um, our seniors. So we're glad to have you here too. And I think we'll hear from you a little bit later. Um, approval of minutes. I just need a motion to approve our minutes from March. I'll make that motion. A second. <clears throat> Oh, and from our social work. So, Amanda, go ahead. Mr. Mullet? Yes. Mr. Gertz? Yes. Mr. Kyle Miller? Yes. And Mrs. Clink? Yes. Also, I recommend the board to approve the agenda for today's meeting, April 20th, of our regular meeting. I'll make that motion. Second. Amanda? Mr. Gertz? Yes. Mr. Mullet? Yes. Mr. Kyle Miller? Yes. Mrs. Clink? Yes. All right, everybody. Well, for the superintendent's report, we have uh, a couple people with us here today, but I uh, first want to start off by recognizing our WKLM students of the week. Uh, great job students at Highland. Uh, Kristen Miller, Lydia Mast, Kate Kaufman, Alex Jones, and Chloe Kime. So uh, congratulations to those students and, and keep up the good work. Uh, we're looking forward uh, to number two there to our graduation on May 30th at 2 p.m. Um, so we're, uh, yeah, we're looking forward to that uh, uh, event coming up for our seniors. And third here, um, uh, Buckeye Career Center Superintendent Bob Alsep is here with us. Bob, if you want to come on up and um, Bob, uh, Great partnership uh, for us as East Holmes and the students, uh, both our students at Highland um, and, and also supporting um, our junior highs as well. So Bob, thanks for being here and turn over the next couple of minutes to you. Thank you very much. And, uh, and I appreciate uh, having the opportunity to, to be here with the board and talk about uh, some of the things, the partnership that you mentioned. Uh, we feel it's a, it's a beneficial one for, for both Buckeye and, and Highland, but more importantly for the students who are uh, using those skills. And I, I put some stats together just to give you a little bit. Obviously, it's been a different year for all of us, but, but as we near the end of it, uh, currently we have 11 students enrolled at, uh, at Buckeye Career Center, and we had 11 students enrolled back in August. Uh, we've had 100% uh, retention with that. Uh, nine juniors, two seniors. Uh, as of today, uh, or as of yesterday, we had seven applicants for next year. So uh, just on paper right now, we would be looking at 16 students uh, at Highland, which is, is uh, a good number for us uh, over the years as we've looked at that. Uh, really excited. Uh, the students, uh, there are 35 students enrolled in the East Holmes Construction Satellite. And from everything I've heard, we expect that number to grow. Uh, next year and uh, has been a very good year. Uh, 71 students who are enrolled in the agricultural satellite. And then there are six students enrolled in the East Holdens uh, business satellite. And, and as far as Buckeye Career Center, our, our enrollment is 837. That's, that's down from the beginning of the year. Uh, We've had a lot of movement mid-year, but uh, have settled down. Uh, very excited for next year. Uh, as of yesterday, we had 475 applications for the junior class. So we're anticipating that we'll go over 500. Uh, we just had our open house last week and, and feel that uh, we will be there, which will put us somewhere between 900, 950 students as we start the, the school year next year. Uh, our placement rate for the 2020 grads was 95%. That means they were enrolled, uh, they were uh, enlisted, or they were working. And for 2020, uh, as, as crazy a year, we're, we're very happy for that and feel like the economy, uh, they should be in good shape. Industry credentials, which is an important part uh, for employers, it says this: the student can do this. Uh, in all of 2020, we had 785, 
And as of today, uh, or as of yesterday, we had 870. So we, we are up from last year, and that number will go up between now and the end of the school year. Just a few uh, dates. We have a virtual career connection for our students this uh, Thursday. Uh, first time ever through Zoom. They'll be in the labs, have the opportunity to meet students, uh, get to know them, and invite them to apply for jobs. Uh, the East Holmes uh, Business Open House, uh, that will be Monday, May 10th. Uh, the Buckeye Career Center Awards Night Nights, those will be May 17th through the 20th. We currently have eight sessions planned, two sessions each night. That's still pending approval with our health department as far as the numbers, uh, but, but we feel good with that. And a tentative date that's not on there could, because it has to be approved by our board at our meeting tonight is we will be auctioning our Buckeye house on uh, June 15th. And we're very excited about that. And uh, the, the change trays or the knickknacks, uh, those were made by our, our, our construction tech and uh, hopefully something that you can find some use for. So thank you very much. And I, I'd be happy to answer yeah, any, any questions. questions for Bob at all. Bob, you, you mentioned the uh, the East Holmes construction satellite. You know, that's new for us this year. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you want to talk about that instructor at all. And uh, Jamie Garber has, uh, was with us. Um, we had the satellite and it was located uh, behind Tis the Season and uh, just had the opportunity to move it to the high school. We, we're really excited about Jamie, very talented. Um, and, and it just connects the students. And he is one of the people that we, we hired out of industry and he's taken the how to teach, but he had the knowledge and he's got, he's got a good knowledge of what business needs. And um, we're very excited for what he's done this year. And we, we think this will continue to grow and really be a benefit to this community. Yeah, yeah I, would, I would echo that when you walk through Highland and you pop your head into that room, you know, the kids are just producing a lot and they're just and they seem to really enjoy um, him and that partnership and I know uh, we appreciate that and you know there was some equipment transition there as well and, and we just uh, that has just made that experience for those kids and in, in the types of work that they can do just so much better so we think it will continue to grow we've got a, a real good person uh, great students and, and get a lot of support from from uh, Highland from yeah. the high school folks thank you anybody else and then, of course, uh, just everybody knows, just public wise, too, just uh, Jim is our um, East Holmes uh, um, board member rep who sits on the on the Buckeye board. So Tuesdays are busy days for Jim. He goes East Holmes in the morning and then Buckeye at night. So 730 and 7. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Thank you. All right. Uh, then just on the superintendent's report, just our first reading of our um, spring NEOLA policy updates there. Um, and then those will officially be on the agenda uh, next month uh, in May. Uh, for our building and supervisor reports, I think we'll go ahead and start there and I'll just call you online there. And uh, Mr. Sprang, maybe I'll have uh, you all uh, go first there um, at Highland and have uh, Coach Slayball there as well. So. Go ahead. All right, great. Well, good morning, everybody. It's my uh, my privilege today to recognize our girls varsity basketball team, um, not only for their accomplishment this year of winning uh, the state tournament, but also just uh, ongoing success clear through their um, freshman to senior year. Um, you know, they had a, a junior year, they had a tough end of their season. And then this year they came back um, and, and just really stuck with it, really worked hard, and it, it ended with the uh, ultimate reward, which is winning state championship. Um, so I wanted to, to bring them to the board meeting today to recognize them. I'll kind of go around the room and, and recognize everybody. Um, Directly behind me is Kelsey Swihart. Behind Kelsey Swihart is Gabby Slayball. Uh, next to me here is Morgan Yoder, Bryn Mullet, and then Zoe Miller. And then also here at the meeting, we have Coach Dave Slayball and Coach Coach Coos. Um, just would like to recognize them for their uh, many years of support, leadership, hard work, and dedication to our to our school and community. 
Um, we're really going to miss these guys and uh, really just value what they did, did for us as a school. Um, so again, just would like to take an opportunity to recognize them. Thank you. Um, uh, Dave, I don't know if there's uh, any words you want to say there. Yeah. Hey, sorry. I can't be there um, down in North Carolina. I got some meetings for a couple of days here, but uh, no, I'll, I'll reiterate PJ's comments on our senior class. Uh, it's been a group that um, we've been very, very proud of. They have been uh, tremendous leaders on and off the court. Uh, uh, tough ending last year, but these kids stayed really, uh, really focused and um, uh, many of them going on to play college basketball next year. It'll be fun to, to watch them, but all, all great kids. And I do want to say thanks to, to Eric, you guy, you and the, the board. Um, you know, we, for my 30 plus years, uh, and especially this year, have just felt nothing but um, support from you guys. Feel like you guys always had our back. Uh, and more than anything, you gave our kids the opportunity to be successful. Um, they had to put in the work, but uh, we uh, we needed the leadership on your end to allow that to happen. And uh, you know the the classic this year for the for our kids to be able to have that. I know you guys um, made that possible. Um, our opportunities last summer that most schools did not have, you know, we figured out a way with your support to get that done. So. A lot of uh, a lot of people have to step up to win a state championship, and um, uh, always said from the first day I started coaching, I, I would coach as long as I had kids that wanted to work and an administration support, and uh, um, so we appreciate that. So thank you very much, Mr. View. And I would also I I failed to mention earlier uh, senior Kylie Horn. Uh, she was unable to make the meeting, but I wanted to make sure she was recognized. Thank you. Do you have any words before we move on? <laughs> no, just, uh, no, just again, that kind of what Dave said. And uh, I remember the day I called Dave 21 years ago and said, man, I love to come out here and coach with Dale Highland. And um, um, yeah, it's been a tremendous uh, leadership again with uh, Eric, CJ, Art. Um, you know, thank you guys for that. And yeah, I'm going to miss it, but uh, so proud of this group. I mean, this group here is, is by far um, one that's close to my heart. Um, watching their journey and uh, you know th their success this year and seeing some of the um, their trying times along the way so there's uh, to me it's a storybook ending nothing I'm so, so proud of them looking forward to watching them the next four years at the college level Dave sent me the GMAC schedule yesterday so uh, working on my travel plans already and uh, between that and watching Zoe and the Bowling Green so I just thank you guys so much for the um, the opportunity and uh, I'm going to miss it but um so we'll be around watching them. Thank you. Well, thank you. Yep. Just really appreciate both of your investment in our kids and, and uh, girls were, you know, on behalf of the board, we're just really proud of you and, and look forward to uh, your next steps and journeys into um, in, 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 in your future. So appreciate, appreciate that. Mr. Sprang, do you have anything else to update from Highland? Yeah, just a couple of things real quick. Um, this past weekend we had prom and uh, just would like to thank all the parents, uh, staff members, kids to it just really pitched in to make that a great experience. I thought Saturday was a lot of fun. I thought it felt like felt like it, it should feel um, a, a time where our kids are in school um, together to, to create a memory. Um, also, next week we have uh, the spring play. Uh, the spring play is a spirited. Spirited Scenes from Shakespeare. It is on April 30th hey, good morning, and May 1st and May 2nd. I'm going to stop there. All right. Maybe we'll circle back. Uh, on, next on the screen, Mr. Lunaborg from Mount Hope and Chestnut Ridge. All right. Hey, uh, apologize. I'm doing this from my phone this morning. I can't get my computer to work right and access the uh, Zoom meeting. So, um, but just some notes from uh, Chestnut Ridge and Mount Hope. Uh, we just finished up our uh, ELA language arts testing and we'll be doing math and science testing, uh, state testing next week, but everything went real smooth. Only had a few makeups and got those completed as soon as those students returned from vacations. Um, just some exciting things going on at the end of the school year. Uh, I know it's exciting for our students, but our Amish softball games will begin uh, next Friday on April 30th. 
uh, Chestnut Ridge and Wise will be playing each other. And then the next two Fridays, we have Mount Hope playing uh, Chestnut Ridge and then Wise playing uh, or Wise playing Mount Hope. So it takes three Fridays, but the kids really do enjoy that and they look forward to those softball games. Um, one thing we did have going on with Leader and Me is we had a visit from our Leader and Me coach, Susanna Hobreth. Um, she came to uh, both my buildings, met with my Lighthouse teams, and then took the opportunity to kind of go through the buildings, talk to some teachers, see that what uh, we have completed so far this year, and has given us a little bit of guidance looking into the next school year, and uh, saying, making sure that when we get our MRA surveys completed, to look at that data as well. So uh, really going on that, and looking forward to uh, hopefully a regular school year next year, and we can invite some parents in for some uh, assemblies and so forth, and continue with the Leader Me program. And then just kind of hit me how close we're getting to the end of the school year. Uh, Chestnut Ridge and Mount Hope graduation planning is underway. Uh, Mount Hope uh, graduation is May 25th at 6 o'clock in the evening, and Chestnut Ridge will be May 26th at 6 o'clock in the evening. All right, thanks. All right, thanks, Mr. Lunaborg. Uh, Mr. Sprang, do you want to finish up there? Yep, thank you. Um, also, just some things that have happened here in the last month. We had a uh, we had an FFA Spirit Week that was uh, had the feature event of the Drive Your Tractor to School Day, or Bring Your uh, Classic Car to School Day. Uh, we had 26 entries, and it was just a lot of fun um, to to get out the word about FFA and all the positive things there. Um, tonight we have the Choir Soul and Ensemble event at the Highland Auditorium. Um, students will perform for an OMEA adjudicator and receive a report um, and a rating as to how they did. So that'll be tonight in the auditorium. Um, we have the NHS blood drive this Friday. So we're excited about hosting that. And then our spring sports, uh, they're, they're underway and they're, they're going strong. Um, the boys baseball team plays tonight at the Rubber Duck Stadium. That game time has been changed to five o'clock and they play triway. Um, and then our, our boys tennis team is doing well, softball team and track also. So that's it from Highland. Thank you. All right, thank you. Mr. Travis. Good morning, everyone. I've got several things and a couple of them are the same as what JT shared just a couple minutes ago. But we finished our first round of testing last week. That was the ELA test for grades three through eight. And then next week we'll be taking math grades three through eight and science for fifth through fifth and eighth. Not that's only two classes for that. So also Amish kids are looking forward to Amish softball games, um, as JT mentioned. With Leader and me, we're currently introducing habit number six, which is synergize. And yesterday, um, classes were using their leadership guides, and it was really neat to go into sixth grade room and hear them talking about teamwork. And then later on in the day, I walked into a kindergarten room. And they were lining up to go to lunch. And Miss Halfill said, well, look, tell Mr. Travis what word you learned today. And they were they all yelled out, synergize. So even kindergartners are learning about how to synergize and, and teamwork. So that was neat. Wise graduation is going to be Wednesday, May 26th. We're going to have it at the Oasis Center in Charm. Uh, ceremony is going to begin at 4.30. And then the picnic and softball games for eighth graders will follow that. And one last thing. Um, Valley Schools Benefit Auction. We're currently in the planning stages. Took, we've taken the previous Charm Days Committee and Wise Day Committee, fam, family committees, and kind of put them into one committee. I have four families um, planning an auction. It's gonna be held at the Oasis Center on Friday, September 10th. So we're gonna try a shot at our first uh, Valley Schools Benefit Auction in lieu of Charm Days and Wise Breakfast. So that's something new in the Valley. Thank you. Hey, Mr. Travis, I think you'll just have to figure out how to get that whole hog sausage to the to the to the auction. People That's are not a bad that. idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, what we got here next, Mr. Blocklinger, you're there. I'm here. Good morning, everybody. Um, as we uh, as the other guys have said, testing has gone well. We are online testing, and so. You always cross your fingers that uh, everything goes well with that, and, and it has, and, and we're very excited that it has. Uh, we, tomorrow we'll start math. Uh, students have worked really hard, so we're proud of them. Uh, right to Read Week planning is continuing as uh, the great outdoors is our theme this year, and um, students are helping with the Lighthouse team to plan that, so um, giving them ownership of Right to Read Week this year. 
the leadership team and I continue to plan for the remainder of this year. And <clears throat> excuse me, and we've also started to plan for uh, next school year. So lots of, lots of great leadership opportunities that we're talking about. Uh, our positive behavior, um, PBIS, the students reached their goal. So they, their uh, celebration was extra recess and uh, donuts. And so those uh, continue out throughout this week. And then finally, I'd like to just say thank you to our parents and families. Uh, in this environment, we're not allowed to have lots of people in the building, but our parents and families are still trying to be as involved as they can with so many different things that they're doing for us directly and indirectly. So I wanted to thank our parents and, and families for that. Uh, they're simply wonderful and the things that they do are really pick-me-ups in some stressing times. So we appreciate that. Thanks everybody. Thanks Mr. Blocklinger. Uh, Mr. Haven. Good morning everyone. I have three things to share. Uh, number one is uh, we are, we always have a relationship with Walnut Hills. This year it's been much more distant than usual, uh, but we're gonna go face to face with them. We're gonna go down May 7th and do, uh, start off thinking about a Mother's Day parade, but we're just gonna go down there and pray. Uh, the students line up, they have signs and uh, we walk through the driveway through the parking lot and uh, just get a chance to share the energy that we have up there with them down there. And I got to say, it's also mutual too, because they share it with us also. Uh, number two, believe it or not, tomorrow we start our alphabet countdown, which means we have 26 days of school left. Mm -hmm. Alphabet countdown is every day we have a different theme. Uh, some days like the letter C is crazy hair day, uh, H is hat day, and we just go through there and just make it, uh, again, memorial last uh, couple weeks of school, which go very fast. And then thirdly, uh, we are having some concerts coming up here in a couple weeks. Uh, the choir concert is going to be May 7th at Perry Reese. It's going to be done during the daytime. It'll be us in Berlin and Weinsburg. And then also uh, May 14th will be the band concert. So it'll be done during the daytime. It'll be a pretty uh, short event. Uh, but again, it'll get it, give our kids a chance to share uh, what they've been doing this year. That is all I have. Thank you guys so much. Thanks, Mr. Haven. Uh, Mr. Wilson. Just a few things here. Uh, science renewal for uh, our curriculum is on target here. And we're currently working to finalize uh, supply lists and equipment lists uh, by grade level there. Uh, kindergarten registration is coming up May 11, 12, and 13. Um, we've had a good turnout uh, as far as registration goes for that. Uh, preschool story times, uh, we will be hosting those uh, starting next week uh, in the Reese Center. A uh, little bit of a change, but it gives us the space to uh, spread folks out and get the kids in uh, to work on just some good uh, kindergarten type skills. Uh, on our one needs assessment, uh, we're continuing by setting some measurable goals, both in the buildings and at the district level. And we are nearing completion of uh, our deep dive in data uh, for that, which is great. And SR funds, those continue to kind of trickle out, uh, just working to navigate those as well as the requirements that go with them. Thanks. Thanks, Mr. Wilson. And Mr. Uh, Mrs. Calzo is uh, here with us, so go ahead, Karen. Um, for student services and special education, we are completing our senior meetings, which has been really exciting for staff and for students to sit down and review their years of service by the district um, and you know, encourage them and reward them for graduation coming up. And then we are also looking forward to the incoming group of preschoolers to kindergarten and just learning every day more about families and the number of kiddos that are coming. So looking forward to trying to support all their needs. And then um, I mentioned previously that we're doing a survey that the state um, randomly chose us to do this year. And it's called the Ohio Longitudinal Transition Survey. And we interview students as they exit school. And then we will interview them again one year from now. And it's a series of questions about how has your education been? Has it pro provided you an opportunity to feel successful? Are you going after the goals that you had set out for yourself? Um, and then in a year, we'll come back and see, are we at that place? 
are kids still in college or still in trade school or have they gone to work or are they being successful with the goals that they set out now a year from now and what could we do to better support them while they're in high school making that transition so i think this will be a really interesting opportunity for us to learn how well our services provide students with that support to step into the world after high school and what we can do differently in the years to come um, i'm also working directly with the um, County Board of DD in trying to improve and enhance the transition um, opportunities in our district and in the community and utilize the state resources that are available because there are quite a few resources available. So I think this is all sort of happening at a very nice time to bring this together and create a good opportunity for kids moving into the workforce. Um, May 21st, special education is going to have track and field day here in district at the high school. So more information to come on that. Um, but we look forward to a day of fun outside on a beautiful day like today. We're planning. No rain, we hope, and no snow, hopefully. Um, and then just a note, I know we've given Stacy quite a few accolades. Stacy is our nurse. Um, but you know, this year has been unlike any other for a nurse to come into a new position. She's taken on COVID and handled that very smoothly. She's worked very closely with Mr. Bune and the health department to make sure we guide everybody in being able to keep our doors open for students, which I'm incredibly thankful for. And, um, and then there's the routine nursing care at our schools with some serious medical conditions for kiddos that she just handles on the spot and takes care of and is able to keep everything going for the students around and for the staff. So I just really appreciate her, um, you know, coming on board with us and in the midst of a COVID pandemic on top of all the typical nursing. So I just wanted to share that out. Thank you. I definitely echo, echo that, Carrie. So, all right. Thanks everybody. Uh, as everybody can see, just lots of, you know, as we head into the last uh, five or so weeks of school here, just, you know, uh, lots of, great things happening in the district so we'll continue on here okay amanda ready um a couple of items i just want to bring to your attention under the treasurer's report that uh number two there a resolution with meta solutions meta handles all of our gas and electric supply needs and i shared with you in my update just a little more information on that but this is just um seeking approval so they can go out um uh, for an upcoming RFP for electricity. Um, the other contract renewal there you see is with Sedgwick and they actually um, merge with comp management who does our workers comp claims. Um, so they now will handle both our workers comp and unemployment. And that's just our annual renewal. One of which I'm very thankful for as the uh, I've worked with them very closely this past year on a couple of different things and they, their team has just been really helpful um, and, they, and they do a really good job for us in processing those different things. Um, items four and five go together there and in your board packet, the first thing you would have seen would have been um, just an update to our estimated resources and then the second one would be just some appropriation modifications. And those are all directly tied to just changes in grant allocations from the federal government and updating those. Um, we did get a, a state grant, uh, Lori Pringle worked on, and so that is another one that's being updated as well, where she's getting additional funding to purchase some, some library books throughout the district. So we're, we're happy that Lori is able to do those things for us. Um, food services and PI, just a couple of things there. Um, PI appropriation modification, and that's just to update some of that additional restroom spending we, we had at the beginning of the year when we were remodeling those restrooms. Um, and then food service with, with the pandemic, um, federal government is giving us a lot of, lot of reimbursement. So that's the big update there, some, some money we were not expecting to see. And with that, obviously more kids are eating lunches and so therefore we're spending more money on food supplies. So those are the big changes. And then lastly, just wanna um, recognize a donation um, for Arts Initiative Week at Highland. And we're just grateful for our community and their continued support when they, when they donate these things for our kids. Okay, thank you, Amanda. Any questions? Um, who, do we get our electric from Holmes Lane? Um, partly, yes. And there's a, uh, I'd have to look up which schools, but then we do have, uh, I think, two buildings with AEP. Okay. Opposite. 
two with uh, Thank you. Holmes Wayne and then the rest with AEP, Winesburg and uh, Flat Ridge. Any other questions? If not, I just need a motion to approve Treasury Report 1 through 6. Second. <clears throat> Mr. Mullet? Yes. Mr. Gertz? Yes. Mr. Kyle Miller? Yes. And Mrs. Clean? Yes. All right, under new business there, just two items. Uh, the first one there is just our a routine, our just approving for the for next school year, uh, the voluntary student accident program uh, there. And then number two there um, is just an agreement with the Knox ESC. Um, they're providing some uh, crisis prevention uh, training for some staff here coming up in May. Okay. Any questions on new business? Do not just need a motion to approve, please. One through two, one and two. I'll, I'll move to approve that. Second. Amanda. Mr. Gertz. Yes. Mr. Mullet. Yes. Mr. Kyle Miller. Yes. Mrs. Plink. Yes. All right. Under personnel, would ask that you take one through nine there. Uh, number one there have three, uh, three resignations there. Um, uh, staff that will miss there. Uh, highlight. Uh, all of them, but uh, Betty Slaybaugh there is an aide at, at Highland, who's been an aide at Highland for, for some time and uh, and supporting um, some yeah. our students there. So just really appreciate Betty. Uh, updates to our substitute list there. And then three and four is uh, hiring uh, Jonas Yoder to replace um, Albert Yoder, his, his father, who mm -hmm. is, uh, is the evening custodian at WISE. So look forward to to Jonas taking over the reins there at Wise. Uh, a transition there and a transfer of Art Yoder uh, to an aid position um, at Highland next year. And again, want to just, as a side note, you know, Art is still with us and at, will be at Highland and will just be serving kids in a different role. But for the last eight years has been athletic director at Highland and um, the investment he's made in kids uh, and supporting our coaches and kids just want to highlight and thank him for that uh, reduction in, in a contract number of days there for Don Hummel, secretary at Highland, a student teacher there on seven, and then two um, two supplementals there, one for this year, uh, uh, Renita Nininger, uh, color guard, uh, one that we just missed in the fall. And then uh, number nine is for next school year. Uh, and that's the hiring of Jason Mitchler um, as our next varsity girls basketball coach. Any questions, comments? Okay, just need a motion to approve personnel items number one through nine, please. I'll make that motion. I'll second. Amanda. Mr. Mullet. Yes. Mr. Gertz. Yes. Mr. Kyle Miller. Yes. Mrs. Clink. Yes. And then just one uh, separate uh, personnel item there um, uh, to vote on separately, and that's um, approving Kelly Miller um, uh, as our next varsity volleyball coach, um, uh, spouse of uh, board member Kyle there. Okay, questions or comments? I just want to, I'm just in these two particular, just um, excited to have those positions filled and for those programs to, yeah. to, um, continue to move forward and grow. Okay, just need a motion to approve personnel item number so one. Turn. I'll make that motion. I'll second. Amanda. Mr. Gertz. Yes. Mr. Mullet. Yes. Mr. Kyle Miller. Abstain. <laughs> and Mrs. Clink. Yes. Okay. Uh, the superintendent recommends that the Board of Education go into executive session for any of the following matters to consider uh, appointment, employment, dismissal, discipline, promotion, demotion, or compensation of a public em employee or official. Okay. Mr. Kyle Miller? Yes. Mr. Mullet? Yes. Mr. Gertz? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Thanks, everybody. Have a great Tuesday.